Yep, pushing a round peg through a square hole. It's going to be quarter inch. I do have a puller and installer. However, I don't have one for the size thread. Hey, Dan. Hey. Can you hold this down? Wrench right here for a second. I'm not gonna wool towel for. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with drilling and everything, but here's what I got so far. So basically, here, let me, let me over. I do have an installer kit, okay? I do have a puller and installer kit. I just don't have the right size thread. So if you see me, you know, turning the bolt into the crank, I do have lubricant on the threads and I'm being real gentle with it, okay? Here's the bolt, see? No thread, none of a match. Great kit. I bought it and I did two harmonic balancers so far and none of them have the right size. Awesome kit. Um, so here's what I got. I'm gonna put this, this pin, okay, through the crank. Now, why am I doing that? Well, it's because this bad sum of gun is on there, all right? And I don't wanna shear the key. Because when you add resistance, because that, that, that supercharger right there, it has a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of resistance, okay? And one keyway isn't enough. That's why you got double keyways, okay? Let me see. So you get a quarter inch bit. Okay, I use quarter inch. You could probably use a little bit bigger if you want. I use quarter inch. So the drill bit is straight. Okay, so this will go rest up against here. And this is just to make sure the drill bit goes in straight. Okay. So you put the drill bit, drill bit in there. It's quarter inch, okay. And it'll grab. And you make sure it's it's square. Okay. This will keep it, this will keep it square with the crank. And this will keep it square with the hub. And then you just slowly drill in. Now, um, you need a good bit, okay? It's it's not that hard to drill through, okay? But you just want to make sure you have a good bit. And let's just see if I can get some drilling footage. I got to go in about eighth more, which is right near the wood. Which is right near the wood, so... See, if, if it walks up, you're gonna see a gap right there. You just wanna keep it down in the channel, straight pressure. Let me see if I can get a, a light up in there. And there you go, there you have it. That is about an eighth of an inch away from the timing gear, okay? That's what I got in there. So now it is pinned and it's keyed. And that, so basically, if that hub does spin, that crankshaft's gone. All right, that, that's, that's harder than a key. It's not soft steel, it's a hardened pen. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there. You don't wanna go all the way through because that does go into the engine and you want a little ledge, okay, to stop the pin from going further. All right, so I'm gonna get some Loctite and Loctite this pin in. And I'll just tap right into there. So now we'll have two keys for this engine, for this crank. <clears throat> All right, and just as a reminder, this is going to the, this is actually channeled into the engine, okay? So <clears throat> we'll have to put some sealer on there. But when you do use a Loctite, make sure it's a hydraulic pneumatic Loctite. There's no solids, okay? So this will help seal that and on here, we're probably just gonna have to um, put some regular you know, gasket maker just so it doesn't weep out the front. So I weighed the pros and cons about this. And 
Basically, I was going to just, um, I was actually going to install a threaded, oh boy, here we go, ADD, I'm thinking about three things at once, I'm supposed to be focused on one thing. So, a set screw, <laughs> wow. So I was going to use a set screw, all right, I was going to tap it, and for whatever reason, if the bolt came out, you would have the threads in there to hold it from coming out. And then I was thinking about it and I was like, well, uh, why add one more step to it? So I just, I just drilled it out. It's quarter inch, quarter inch pin. And I still might use the short one, but I may use the longer one. And we'll just see how it goes because this was, um, we asked the machinist to get it cut and the machinist said that they don't do that. So basically we had to figure out a way to do it. And at one, at one point we decided not to do it. So we put it together and we started working on it, got it running. And you know, you have to take things apart, put it together, take it apart, you know, just get things right and lined up, especially when you're putting something together from scratch. So, uh, actually, it's my fault, and sometimes things happen for a reason, so I'm just going to take it for what it is and uh, learn from my mistake. But what happened was I didn't tighten the uh, center bolt. I put the hub on, and I put the, put the bolt in there, and I got called away, and it wasn't like for, I got called away for like 10 minutes. I got called away for like half a day and got back to it and finished tightening the pulleys and started up the engine and I saw it wobble. I was like, well, maybe, maybe the crankshaft is, and it still didn't click, you know, it still didn't click. So accidents happen, and next thing you know that the hub is walking off the crank, and fortunately it didn't hurt it, it didn't hurt the crank, the crank is still straight, the hub is still good, but I took that as, okay, something's wrong, we're gonna need to add another keyway. So that's why I'm adding a keyway. Um, I really do believe in, you know, things happen for a reason. So, hey, things happen, you know, uh, and you're going to run into that when you're when you're building something, when you're when you're putting something together from scratch, you're going to run into instances instances where you got to make a tool or make a bracket or a jig just to just to get something machined properly, okay. And it happens many times. So it's always good to have some steel on hand, uh, some sheet aluminum, stuff like that. And, uh, of course, some extra bolts. You need extra bolts. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I want to get this out of here. The um, Curtis wants to get it out of here. And I, I'm kind of sad to see it go, but it needs to go. It's been in here for six, seven months and slowly picking away at it. Meanwhile, doing other jobs. So um, that's kind of where we're at. And the due date is July 1st. And hopefully, if everything goes right as planned, by July 15th, I'm going to start putting that pink engine together. I'm going to try and go to the No Name Nationals. It's a long shot, okay? It's, it's a real long shot, okay? Because right now, I have... A rebuilt transmission, okay, a 46RE transmission with basically uh, diesel internals, except for the band, the, the rear band, of course, the 47 and 48 is different in that area to where you can't, you can't just put a real wide band there. So the 46RE has six, six penny planetaries. Um, it has everything done to it. The transmission is in the, is in the, Durango. But I'm trying to get that to No Name Nationals. It's a it's a long shot. Um, I signed up for it, and if I'm there, I'm there. And if not, y'all have a great time. Let me see if I can turn this camera around. There it is. Nothing is done. It's center console ain't out. I got the old seats in there. Everything is in there. If you're to take a stock Durango and just take the engine and transmission out, that's where I'm at. Here's the rebuilt transmission. I rebuilt this a while back. I got a video on it. And it's got about as many clutches as you can stack in a transmission. 
And I'm gonna take that apart again because you know it's been sitting a while. I just want to make sure everything's all right. And yeah, that's that's a bucket of parts I got. Nothing is done. Nothing. I gotta get on it. I weld up the spider gears. Got to do all kinds of stuff. But that um, <laughs> that's my daily driver once it's on the road. So now I'm just gonna put some Loctite on on the pin here. You're looking for that bounce. See how it bounce, bounces? There you go. It's pinned. I'll uh, let that set up so it doesn't, it doesn't migrate out. And I'll, I'll still do that. I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a stop in there. There you go. Let's see if I can get closer. Yeah, that'll set up. I'll put a, a notch, a, a, a stop in there so it doesn't migrate out. And then call it done. There you go. And the upper keyways there. Done. So, anyways. That's how I double pinned it or double keyed it. And I did drain the oil out. I'll be getting some gasoline and flushing that out because when I when I uh, drilled, some of those drillings went in the engine. So I will be flushing it with fuel to get those out. There you go. Not the best way to solve an issue but it's solved and you know if you guys like you probably just just pull the pan i mean it's easy enough but um yeah i'll just pour some fuel in it like two three yeah two gallons and um drain it out and see what comes out filter what comes out so that's done moving forward I'll catch you on the flip, guys.